Okay, guys, um, YouTube people, nation, whatever you want to be called, XDA, S3 users, I guess, um, Wicked Army. No, um, I'm here to talk about the Wicked X ROM lineup. If you want to call it that. Um, essentially, Brian, the creator of Wicked X ROM, that started at Wicked X 1.0, which where he was satisfied, almost bug free, I guess. I wasn't around for that, for that ROM, but he went from 1.0 all the way to 8.0 and bare bones where he's at right now. And he's hinting at a even more not shrunken but stripped version of bare bones but I'll get into this a little bit whereas or should I say okay so Wicked X 1.0 was where he liked it he liked the ROM he could have left it there and not given a rat's ass about what his ROM using community on XDA said whatsoever. He could have just fixed some bugs and called it 2.0 or whatever or 1.5 and just left it at that and never updated it except for making it go to 4.4.2 or 4.4.4 4 .4 if that ever comes out for the S3 or 5.0 lollipop. He just, um, uh, he could have left it there, okay? Just know, he made it and he could have left it there and we wouldn't have all the awesomeness that is Wicked X today. I don't know how long ago this was, but yeah, he made it, give him thanks and everything and like this video. But this video is just mainly a discussion of Wicked X in general. I don't have Ryan here with me because I don't know where he lives and if he wants to make videos or make a video to add on to these videos, I'll add them for him and everything. But he made the ROM, just to get that clear, okay? We're helping him with the ROM. With not necessarily development, but added features and whatnot. He develops and builds the ROMs himself, so give him props, okay? Be a good user, okay? Provide log cats and whatnot. There's already an XDA video about that. But, um, um yeah, essentially, what I'm going to talk about is what I'm running on my phone, what you guys might be running on your phones, and whatnot. On the S3, that is. Now, I personally am running Wicked X Bare Bones with the Sex Lint, Sex Lint, Sense 6 Blink Feed Launcher from the Ported App section of XDA on Bare Bones. It didn't work on 8.0, it works on Bare Bones. I'll give you a link in the description to that. And I'll give you a link in the description to Wicked X ROM in general. Now, like I said, where we at now is a Wicked X 8.0 one gigabyte download ROM, freaking huge. Um, if you wanted to add features to that one, you would have had to sacrifice some of the features you got in the ROM that you liked. If you liked Wicked X 8.0 and how it ran and everything, and then um, um, Ryan made a bare bones version which is basically a stripped down version of 8.0 so instead of a gigabyte it's like 700 through 900 megabytes to download and this essentially cuts off a section of features not necessarily themed apps but a section of features that I'm that you can safely remove and still have a functioning phone not necessarily that no one used some people did use those features but it's stuff that could be removed that I'm guessing he added onto there to make it more feature rich. Now, the phone is still feature rich, but it has space for you as a user to add.
add your own mods and stuff from all over XDA or Android form or whatever it is you're getting the mod from. So you can add your own mods and everything on the Wicked X bare bones version, which is what I have, hence why I have the six sent six launcher as opposed to the Wicked X launcher that comes uh yeah, the Wicked X Sense five slash three launcher that came with um, uh, icon and whole ROM themer. Two separate ones, but they but the whole themer did both things, icons and everything else. But then there's the icon themer that he added as well. That wasn't in 8.0, but in bare bones. Okay, uh, straight up icon themer was in bare bones, but not in the other one. Now, like I said, he could have left it without all these added features because he was happy where it was. He's happy where he's at now, too, but he was happy where he was. Because we asked and he listened, do we have all this other stuff? Now, I'm happy with bare bones. I'll be happy with bare minimum, if that's what he decides to call it. Or just straight up skeleton, I guess. Um, naked skeleton. No, um, whatever he decides to name that other ROM, which is stripped down from bare bones, I'll run that too and make sort of a video thing about that. I'm not really making a review on Wicked X bare bones because just mainly the same thing as my other video review rambling video of 8.0 with a few things taken off from it. That's basically it. And my own things added on top. Not my own because I didn't pay them, but yeah. Um, now, the ROM speed and battery life on 8.0 and bare bones were really subjective to how you used it. Sure, some ROMs out there are guilty of using more battery life than others. Sure, I give you that. I give you that for sure. Now, if you want better battery life on your phone, what did you do? You got Greenify, you got apps to kill the tasks and everything, you got a ROM cleaner, which basically closed all your apps and deleted all the data so you would have to log back into Facebook and whatnot, which was pointless, but so there was that which helped speed up the ROM or increase battery life when honestly all you had to do was make sure the MD5 sum matched on the download that you downloaded and are about to flash and the MD5 that's on the download page if that matches perfectly um, 9 out of 10 times it will work as Ryan has it working on his phone so if you're experiencing bad battery life or bad speeds on the launcher or wherever it is in the ROM or random hiccups here and there it might be because the MD5 doesn't match fully a hundred percent so always make sure that matches before you download the ROM or before you flash it now with that said if the MD5 sum matches perfectly hundred percent every letter is exactly the same sometimes it could be suffering from bad battery life or just a slow phone in general. Two things are at fault here. Well, a plethora of things, but the two things I'm going to talk about are at fault here. The governor or the GPU governor and the I slash O on slash off scheduler you need to have the right mix. Luckily, this ROM comes with KT Tweaker, which lets you choose that. Now, on the GPU, Governor, I have a um, uh, interactive. On the scheduler side, I have Deadline, which work perfect together and gives me 20, 20 hours of battery life. And it's pretty fast for when I need it to be. Sure, it has some hiccups here and there. But it runs good for me, which I'm a moderate user. I'm not glued to my phone. I'm sorry. 
I can't speak for you power users, but moderate use, 20 hours of battery life with those with that GPU and that schedule. If you're doing shit right. <laughs> but I'm just gonna say this right now that it honestly depends on you on the battery life. Sure, there could be rogue apps that are just using a shit ton of battery life for whatever reason. Kill those, uninstall them, whatever you gotta do. Okay? If it continues happening, it will be your fault for not deleting that app or whatever. Or completely hibernating that app. Or using Freedom Fire or whatever. If your phone has something bad on it, don't blame the developers. It's mostly user-related problems. Implying the user probably created the problem. I'm not trying to bash on users. I'm a user. I'm a user. I'm a I'm usher. No, uh, I'm a user of the ROM. Okay, I feel you. Now you gotta use the ROM, but be smart about it. Okay, don't just have apps and everything open willy nilly. That will definitely shrink your battery life fast. Now. When you want to uh, help your battery life, either connect to the charger for like an hour or two while you're, while you're using your power use. Sure, the battery life will still go down, but it won't go down as fast as without charger. Or two, hold home button and delete all the tasks, all the open apps. That stops on battery use. Trust me, I do it all the time. Now, with that said, I can't really blame you for everything, users, because I'm a user myself. Sometimes it is at the developer's fault for releasing the update or whatever too early and didn't check everything or couldn't check everything because they're building blind or whatever. Sure, I get that. But then it's your responsibility that if you notice something's off, off whack or whatever, make a log cat and send the developer and say, here's the entire thing of when I was using the, your ROM or whatever it is that you're talking about. And they can go through the entire log cat and check where it messed up, what was the hiccup, and fix the problem and update it if they so choose. If they don't, go to another ROM. Simple as that. But if you love that ROM, I can't say you have to bug the developer until he fixes the bug. Get it? But you have to remind them here and there that, hey, it might be good for you, but we love this ROM and we want to update it or whatever. As long as enough people say it, the developer will take notice. That doesn't necessarily mean personal message him and spam the fuck out of him. It means comment useful things, not just, hey, fix it, hey, fix it, blah, blah, blah. No, provide logcat, provide this, provide that, provide all the information you can of when you got the error. The developer will love you for that and will respect you for that and will update the ROM for you common knowledge in the Android community. Not so common with noobs, but with it, some people that were with it for a while, that's common knowledge, okay? Now I said this this is a sort of discussion of Wicked X. I'm getting back to that, sorry I got derailed. But okay. Wicked X. Where it's going, where it's at, where it has been. Where it has been was Wicked X 1.0 initial release and even the pre-releases that Ryan has had on his phone before until he got to 1.0 which could have been the 50th version of the ROM before he actually decided to publish it and call it 1.0. That's where he was happy with it. He was happy with it there. It was probably Android version 4.3 or 4.22 or some random number like that. It could have even been ICS. Remember, this is Sprint Galaxy S3. KitKat wasn't up yet. Probably. 
he updated it for you guys. Be happy. Now, right now, currently, where we're at is Wicked X 8.0 and Bare Bones, which is 8.0, dissected and removed features that can be removed. And yeah, the next, the future really is dependent. If, and I say if, Ryan gets bored with the S3, he has stated that he will take the ROM with him to whatever phone he moves on to. So if he gets the Galaxy S4 on Sprint, the Sprint Galaxy S4 will get wicked, and we will have whatever is left here on the S3 form thread for Sprint, Boost, and Virgin. So let's say, let's say bare, or the bare minimum, which is the dissected version of bare bones, and then he transfers to the S4. Sure, he could keep the S3 and still work on it. True, true. But he could sell it at the same time. Or he could trade it in to get the S4, and then he'll start building for the S4 and introduce Wicked X to the S4 community, and we will be left with that ROM that he stopped at, and we won't we'll be able to discuss on the thread unless he closes it. That's a possibility. The other possibility is the US version of the Galaxy S3 gets 4.4.0 for KitKat which looks like a strong possibility now since the Korean model and a Norwegian model got it the international model I believe got a port of it we're left without 4.4.4 KitKat on TouchWiz unless we we already have it on Android open source but whatever on KitKat this because his ROM is KitKat based now if we get 4.4.4 TouchWiz KitKat then Ryan can put forth the effort if he so chooses to make a the next Wicked X number or revision at 4.4.4 he could even up 8.0 to 4.4.4 or bare bones to the latest version. Now, 4.4.4 is not the latest version of KitKat, not in the long shot, because right now 5.0 Lollipop was announced. Still not officially out yet, but it's been announced. And yeah, essentially, if we get 4.4.4 and Ryan, or as I can see it right here on XDA, Bilg er Ryan. If he so chooses, he can work on 4.4.4 KitKat if it gets to us on the S3 US version, even though it is an old operating system now. If we get it, which would be new to us, if he so chooses, he can work on it and update the ROM as he so sees fit and add features, remove features, or whatever as he sees. That's the future. And then, if we get KitKat 4.4.4, we already have 4.4.2. If we get that, then there's a slight possibility that we can get 5.0 Lollipop, and he will love to work with material design. I'm pretty sure he will. Love that himself. To, or love to do that. Because Lollipop seems like heaven right now. Fast, or super fast, um, deep bloated like fucking crazy, can work on older devices so it'll run smoothly on the Galaxy S3. My gosh, it will run so smoothly and work perfect with the camera and everything. It would be awesome. Now, mind you, we still haven't gotten 4.4.4. 5.0 was released. Samsung hasn't said what devices will get 5.0, but we as the Android community realized that Samsung will probably, inevitably, 
update the Galaxy S5, the S4, the Note 3, the Note 2, or not the Note 2, the Note 4. The Note 2 already got 4.4.4, I'm pretty sure. I haven't checked. But we could entirely not see 4.4.4 and get 5.0, which would be pretty awesome. But either way, that would be how he will stay if he so chooses to stay with us on the S3 and continue making this ROM for us, updated and everything, make revisions and whatnot. That's the future of Wicked X. Unless he goes to the S4, or the S5, or another random phone and takes the ROM with him, then we won't see this ROM being updated for ourselves. Quote, quote unquote, ourselves. But, yeah, that's basically it. I know, huh, 20 minute video, almost 21. Uh, 21 in like 8 seconds. I'm rambling, honestly. Um, this is just straight up video. Look at X. Check out the ROM. I'll provide in the link in the description. Um, yeah, Brian, if you're watching this, thank you for making the ROM and giving me another reason to love the Galaxy S3 coming from the Infuse 4G. It's so smooth, so fast. You're awesome, man. Awesome. You gotta pay homage, bros. You gotta pay homage to the people that help your phone. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's about it. Discussion over. Well, not really. Comment in the description down below. Or comment in the comment section down below about what you like about the Wicked X series or what ROM you like on your S3, whether it be international. Sprint, Verizon, T-Mobile, or India, wherever the hell it is you are. Comment the ROM that you like. I won't necessarily be able to run it if it's not for the D2 LTE or the Sprint model. But comment ROMs that you like, developers that you like, developers you don't like. So if those developers come here, they can see who doesn't like them and who does. But yeah, comment, like, subscribe, share. Whatever, bros. Yeah, that's, that's it, man. Deuces. Follow me on Twitter. Hmm.